Guys, 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 you guys do not know how excited I am. Project Tiger Moth just got released. Yay! So we're going to react to it together and make this a series. Welcome to the first edition of Movie Night with Tudor. And the first thing we're going to react to is Project Tiger Moth, the pilot. So let's begin this bad boy, shall we? Wow. Ooh, interesting. Wow. The fact that this is actual real life models on sets. The fact that these are models on sets. The same models from the same models from the classic from the model series is just awesome, man. Like I li I I literally cannot express how happy I am. Let's just continue. Okay. Okay. Pretty solid beginning. Here it comes. One morning, Toby the tram engine was feeling glum. The other engines were busier than ever. But poor Toby hadn't taken any passengers from Henrietta for weeks, only shunting freight cars in the yard. Oh my God! So Just then, exciting. Gordon puffed in to take on water. Oh, here it goes. Oh, hello, Gordon," said Toby sadly. "Are you pulling the express today?" "Who else but me?" puffed Gordon. "You're lucky to always have passengers," remarked Toby. "You know, Henrietta and I haven't gone this long without passengers since. Well, not since my old tramway closed down." Then Toby remembered. It was back in the good old days, chuckled Toby. Oh, we get a flashback. We had our own line, hauled freight, and Henrietta was always bustling with passengers. They'd visit us on holidays and always remembered our names. But then they stopped coming back. My line was closed, and the good old days were over. It would be nice to have my own tramway again, sighed Toby, like having my own branch line. Oh, snorted Gordon. Branch lines are just useless extensions of the important main line. That's all Sir Topham Hack cares about. And he popped. Typical Gordon. Awesome Gordon, too. Just then, Thomas popped in with some freight cars. He saw Toby, looking dismayed. What's the matter? asked Thomas. Now this, now, now this is great. This looks so, so, so similar to the model series. In fact, it is the model series. Like, it isn't made by the same people who made the model series, but the fact that they're trying to make it as close to the model series as possible is just awesome, man. Like, like this is just so cool. Let's continue. Oh, just miss being useful, replied Toby. If I could just have some work to do. He said sadly. Thomas smiled. Well, you can take that train of building supplies to Percy for me, said Thomas. They are needed up at the work site of the new main line extension. Then I'll be able to collect Sir Totten Hat early, and you'll have some work to do. Toby was excited, though the extension was news to him. Come on, Toby, said his driver. We'll take Thomas's branch line to give you a nice long run. Toby was now beaming with joy. He reversed Toby. onto the train of supplies and set off for the work site. The music is also really but awesome, too. As he puffed too. down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. Sir Topham Hatt really does only care about the main line, he thought to himself. Poor Toby. Meanwhile, Percy was fuming. Where's Thomas? Wow. I'm exhausted, he complained. He'll be here nice soon, sex. suit his driver. Nice but sense. we must remind well him done. not to spoil the surprise. Percy was puzzled. What surprise? Before his driver could answer, Toby arrived. Here are the building supplies, Percy, he panted. Toby, what are you doing here? He snapped. I'm sorry. Thomas said I could deliver these supplies for him. Is there anything else I can do to help? Percy eyed a long line of freight cars full of scrap and tree branches. You can take those cars back to the yards for me, he replied. Oh. The train looked quite heavy for Toby, but he agreed. He rolled onto the special junction called a Y to change directions. Mm -hmm. He then buffered up to the heavy train and was on his way. Soon, 
Toby was pushing the heavy train of freight cars up the big He made a tremendous effort, but just as he reached the top, the weight of the cars became too much for him. His driver shut off steam and applied the brakes, but it was too late. There was worse to come. As Toby thundered toward the work site, he saw Percy so dead ahead on his track. Look out, Percy! cried Toby. Toby rocketed past Percy wow. into some bushes near the work site. Toby shut his eyes and braked with all his might. He at last came to a stop in front of an old station with an old shed. Wow. When Toby opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy pulled up behind him. Are you all right, Toby? He gasped. Toby was bubbling with excitement. Percy, this is my old tramway. And look, there's my old shed. I, I, I never thought I'd see it again. Just then, Thomas arrived yeah, with a work group and top of this. hat. He spoke sternly to Toby. You should know your own strength by now, Toby, he boomed. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see you're safe, though it's a shame you spoiled your surprise. Wow. Toby was confused. My surprise, sir? Sir Topham wow. Hatt smiled. Yes, Toby, our new extension is in fact a restoration. We are restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. Wow. Toby grinned what from awesome bumper to bumper. He almost couldn't believe it. Oh, sir, thank you, sir, he cheered happily. When the restoration was complete, Toby and Henrietta took a special charter of friends, old and new, down the line of the opening run. For Toby, it seemed the good old days were here to stay. was one of the coolest thing I've, things I've ever seen. I mean, the model series being back. This is a miracle. And I cannot thank the people that have made this pilot episode and I think an entire series up to this point enough. Thank you so much.